As we're speaking here today, uh, there's been talk about uh, a ceasefire uh, in Gaza. Uh, we'll find more about that, uh, I'm sure, later in the day. But in the meantime, I think there are some unmistakable facts that have been established. Uh, first of all, that uh, Hamas and Gaza uh, have become uh, a, a forward base and a forward arm uh, of Iran. Uh, the supply of these uh, Fajr 5 rockets and the training and uh, other uh, capabilities that uh, Hamas has amassed uh, clearly uh, have the imprint of Iran on them. So when we talk about the Iranian issue, uh, we also have to talk about Hamas and uh, the role that it plays uh, on behalf of uh, the rogue state Iran. That's the first point. Second point uh, would be the issue of, uh, of symmetry. You know, so many in the media uh, have talked about uh, both sides uh, firing each other um, and comparing the two and saying uh, kind of a plague on both your houses. Well, it doesn't work that way. Uh, we've learned uh, that uh, even up to the last minute here, that Hamas targets civilians in a random fashion, firing hundreds and hundreds of rockets. Uh, rockets have landed uh, in, uh, in empty schools. Fortunately, uh, school uh, has been called off in southern Israel, but schools have been hit, apartments have been hit, and of course there were those uh, people who were killed in Kiryat Malachi. So the issue of, of simply randomly targeting civilians, uh, and then the Israelis who have been surgically uh, targeting uh, stockpiles of missiles and uh, headquarters of various uh, Hamas operations. I mean, clearly, uh, we uh, have seen uh, that uh, the reaction in uh, the media uh, has not been fair. And we hope that when this is all over, people take a look back at it, uh, they will clearly see uh, the difference. Third thing, and this is what we're waiting for, is what happens next? if they're simply going to be calm here for another six months or calm for another two years and this starts up again uh, Israel cannot uh, and should not uh, be expected uh, to accept such an arrangement and so there will be tremendous pressure for example on the Egyptians uh, this is a test for Egypt um, the new Muslim Brotherhood government has made it very clear from the outset that uh, their view toward Israel uh, is uh, far more negative than the predecessor government of Hosni Mubarak. Uh, and the leadership uh, in Egypt now has an opportunity uh, to either uh, pick up the mantle of regional leadership and choose the issue of stability uh, or to go down a path that Hamas is going down which can cause further instability in the region considering what's happening in Syria and what's happening in other places. So this will be a test and we'll have to assess what role Egypt uh, has played in this process. So a lot will uh, depend on what happens later in the day uh, and uh, we'll take a look at it when that happens.